Hello beloved brethren, today is the 9th of December 2020 here in Australia and I pray we are all standing steadfast. The power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. To know him and the power of his resurrection. It seems that so many forget it. They forget it. And they lie and they spread lies and they say that they are speaking on behalf of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is complete and utter error. Amen. Jesus said in Mark 16 that you will pick up serpents. Any deadly thing that you drink, it will not hurt you. They will have power over, you will have power over demons. Cast out devils. All those who believe in him are baptized in the Holy Spirit. They have received him as their Lord and Savior. They have all authority. Obviously, we don't go around drinking deadly poisonous things. But the point is, is that if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then you have all authority and all power over the enemy. You will pick up serpents and they will not hurt you. This is spiritual, spiritual, not earthly. Those who come to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ in Jacob's trouble, it is no different for them. No different. Anything that can be done to the flesh and blood has no impact on the spirit of Christ that lives within us. And it is no different for those who go through Jacob's trouble. This is why the spreading of lies that the mark of the beast is a vaccine that changes DNA and goodness knows what else is it's a lie. Oh my God. I am so amazed that many believe that the mark of the beast is a physical thing. It is to worship the beast, therefore worship and take on the image of Satan to become like him, to make him your Lord. It is a spiritual truth. Either you are spiritually saved by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, born of incorruptible seed, or you are spiritually, eternally damned because you believe on Satan and in Satan and you worship him and therefore take on his image, his mark, his name, his number. Either, I mean, it's quite clear in scripture. Nothing can hurt those spiritually who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The dream that I had about seven nights ago now, I was watching a woman and she was a crazed woman, evil in her eyes. And she was force feeding a bottle of cloudy 
liquid and it was poison to a person who was on the floor. And then I saw James Bond, as in Daniel Craig, walking with somebody else who was giving him instructions. He, Daniel Craig, had a harvesting fork, a four-pronged harvesting fork in his hand. And he was being given instructions. I mean, 007. <laughs> the harvesting of the Bride of Christ is what is going to happen. And then those who go through Jacob's trouble and come to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ will be harvested. At the last trumpet, when death is swallowed up in victory, 1 Corinthians 15. But to continue to listen to lies that actually go against the power of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection is it's absolutely horrendous I pray that many see this. The beast system is here. It's obvious it's here. It is hell and death who make the covenant in the first place. It's not the manifested Antichrist. The manifested Antichrist is not revealed until the Bride of Christ is raptured and taken out of the way. The word way is the word midst. So a covenant is made that begins the seven years, but the restrainer is not removed until the midst. And then the wicked is revealed. So the covenant is made between scornful men and hell and death, Isaiah 28, that covenant is broken in the midst of the weak. The restrainer is taken out of the midst and then the wicked is revealed and not beforehand. And that begins 42 months where he is speaking blasphemes and great words against God. He does great signs and wonders. That is how he deceives the people. He deceives by great signs and wonders. And Jesus tells us that in Matthew 24. 
Paul tells us that in 2 Thessalonians 2. Revelations 13 tells us that. That that is how he deceives the people to worship the beast because he, the Antichrist, will do great signs and wonders as much to deceive the very elect. And those very elect are those who come to believe in Jesus through Jacob's trouble. It will be so difficult because he will do great signs and wonders just as Jesus did. And they will think, mm, perhaps this is Jesus Christ. But it is not. Because we know by 1 Thessalonians 4 that Jesus does not come down, touch the earth. We are caught up in the air as you will be caught up in the air. You meet Jesus in the air. Jesus' feet does not touch down until he comes back to the earth with all of us, his complete circle of family, with Jesus Christ in the midst. <laughs> and that is how the Antichrist deceives, with all signs, f power from Satan, and lying wonders. He does not deceive by a vaccine, changing DNA, rubbish. The vaccine is definitely a part of the beast system because the covenant has already been made. I love you all, beloved brethren. Stand fast.